Hi students, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see the third part of the third lesson, matter around us. The topics we are going to see in this video are what is separation of mixture and types of separation. So come, let's see this in detail. So first one is separation of mixture. So what is separation of mixture? The process of separating each of the component combined in a mixture that is it is isolated and removed from the mixture to get a pure substance is called separation. And why, no, why do we need separation process? There are some examples for this to tell why we need this separation process. First is we need to remove impurities or harmful components from the mixture that is stones from rice. Then to separate useful components from other components that is separating petrol from crude oil. Then to separate substance to achieve highly pure form that is to separate gold from gold mine. Next one there are several methods used for this separation process. We will see one by one. First one is filtering. So the method of separating insoluble part from the mixture using a filter paper is called filtering. The liquid that pass through the filter are called filtrate and the insoluble part which remains in the filter are called residue. The best example is we have seen filtering the tea or coffee. The tea that is mixed well or dissolved in milk will come out as filtrate and the tea leaves waste which remains in the filter. Then sieving. The process of separating solid particles which are in different sizes are called sieving. Example, brown from flour, sand from gravels. We have seen this in construction places that a sieving slab is placed slantingly and the mixed sand is thrown on the slab. The fine sand comes on the other side and the coarse sand falls on the same side where the mixed sand is thrown. Next one is kerning. Kerning is a method of separating the very fine insoluble solid particle from the liquid. This process is used to separate butter from curd. Butter are the finest insoluble partic solid particle. So first pour curd in a vessel then insert a long kerning tool into the curd. Then rotate it vigorously. After some time like 20 or 30 minutes, the butter will be separated from the curd and collected on the sides of the vessel. This process is called kerning. Then threshing. Threshing is a process of separating the parts by heating on the floor or wall or some hard places. Here the form must separate grains from their stalks by heating them hardly on the wooden plank or a big rock to separate the grains. And that's all for this video and the remaining types of separation will be seeing in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss my previous videos and the upcoming videos. Thank you.